The IPC, the Inter-Process Communication Module, allows you to send and receive synchronous and asynchronous messages between the main and the renderer processes. To use IPC from renderer to the main process, you can use the IPC renderer module. And the other way around, so from the main to the renderer process, you can use the IPC main module. We will take a look at how to send asynchronous message from the renderer to the main process. Then we will reply back to the renderer process. First, let's navigate to our renderer.js file. We begin by requiring the electron package. We use destructuring to get the IPC render module from the package and defining it as a constant. Then we use the IPC render.send method where we specify the channel name to send through. In our case, this will be the asynchronous message channel. And listing arguments as a next parameter. Now we will listen for the message in the main process. So let's open up the main.js file. Here we similarly define new IPC main constant and assign it to the electron.ipc main. Now we will call the ipc main.on method and specify the channel we are listening on. In our case, this will be the asynchronous message channel. The second parameter will be an anonymous function with two parameters, the event and the arcs. Now we just display the message from arguments by logging it in the console. Let's take a look at the message by running electron dot and we can see the displayed message in the terminal. To send the async message back, we can make use of passed in event and call the event.sender.send method. And pass the channel of asynchronous reply and the message of word. This will send an asynchronous message back to the renderer process. Now the last thing we need to do is to listen to our reply message in the renderer.js file. Here we make use of the IPC renderer.on method and specify the channel of asynchronous reply. And we specify an anonymous function, and inside the function, we console log the reply. To see the response, open up the DevTools inside this browser window by hitting Ctrl or Command plus Shift plus I.